Hey guys, the day has come. I'm so excited. Sisyphus is here. My Lego Sisyphus. Um, a few years ago on Adam Savage's tested site, I saw him put this together. And yay, my parts are here. So here's the deal. I, um, A few months ago, I started putting together a list of parts. Okay. Um, you can you can download these parts from JP, JP uh, Brickworks. It's a sculpture that he's put together, and it's just amazing. Um, and so, with any of his his uh, sculptures, you can download a parts list. And so, I've been doing that, and I started sorting all of my Legos so that I could put together all of the parts. And I have done that. I finally got it down to the point where the remainder of the parts that I needed only cost me about $20, $25. It was mostly um, little pieces and uh, um, minifigs because I didn't have 100% gray minifigs, so I needed that. So. Um, so now I'm going to take what I already had and the parts that I got and I'm going to mold them together as best as I can. <clears throat> and yes, I realize that knowing means 90 degree right angles and all that stuff, but I just sort them in piles. I have been waiting on this kit. You know, I could have bought it for 350 bucks, but who's got that kind of money? So I started sorting all of my kids' Legos. Uh, my my kids were much like a lot of kids, I think. That you know, they 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 got Legos. They enjoyed them. They uh, put them together, and then they were done with it, so they took them apart. Bless their hearts for that. And their mom, my wife, boy, she was, she might have been into it more than all of us, even though I, I grew up with Legos and loved it, and the kids loved them too. She was super fascinated by it. She didn't have it growing up, but... And of course, she didn't have daughters, so she couldn't play with dollhouses and all that kind of stuff. But with the Legos, she was able to create dollhouses, create whatever. And so we went to the the aftermarket stores that are nearby and found all different types of unique parts. And we frequented the Lego store itself and found all kinds of good stuff there. And Lego, true Lego, man, it is it is a, a tr like a tradable commodity. I think that if the the dollar ever fails, shoot, you might be able to just uh, have Lego become the new currency. And so now I'm just gonna sort all of these guys. Oh, but anyway, like I was saying, that so we have these just boxes and boxes and boxes of Lego. Well, if you're looking for a specific piece, I'm sorry, a box of Legos is almost useless. Um, it is really, really impossible to look for a specific part, even if you don't care what color it is. If you care what color it is, then it's even worse. And you might get lucky, but man, it would take me years to find all the pieces for this. So, but I uh, sorted my parts and um, yeah, I finally, I finally got to the point where 
it wouldn't break the bank to buy the, the remainder, and so I finally did that. And they just came, and I'm so, so happy. So the way it works is when you buy the parts, they uh, give you the instructions. On, I'm going to just put those together over there. They give you the instructions in a PDF. And so now I'm putting it together. And like I said, the first time I saw this, um, I didn't know anything about JP Brickworks, um, but I'm a big fan of Adam Savage's from Mythbusters. Um, but more recently, he's been on his tested website. And he puts together all kinds of neat stuff, and he builds stuff, and and but one but but he's he's also a lover of legos of lego the plural of lego is lego but he is a lover of lego and and i saw him put together this kit a couple years ago now and i said i need to do that but I also said I don't need to afford that. <laughs> and so thus began a couple of years now sorting. Well, I didn't get really, I didn't get hardcore into it until uh, the pandemic actually happened. And boy, when there's nothing to do, there's always Lego to sort. I thought that I was going to be able to pay the kids to do it, too. They decided that it was so poor. <laughs> they didn't want to have anything to do with it. And I'm still not done. I still probably have a quarter of my total allotment to do. But I got far enough. So now the only question is is gonna is is the color gonna gonna hold up because the the Legos are um different ages and they did change some of the the colors. Like like this this color is, is considered light blue gray and but light blue gray has changed shades couple of times over the years so if it looks really stupid then I'll have to be a little picky but we'll see so I've already got a lot of these pieces already sorted in sort of sorting container so I think I might add these piles to those I think that might be the easiest way to go But, I can't tell you how excited I am. Um, let's just do that. I just got through putting together the Apollo 11 lander. From, uh, that's an actual Lego kit. Um... But uh, this sculptor, I think his name is Jason from JP Brickworks. He's awesome. He's got lots and lots and lots and lots of cool designs that I hope to put together at some point. I am sorting these by shape and not by color because, oops. Because I have found that once you have them sorted by color, or by shape, it's really easy to pick out the right color. I think we're going to put some of these pieces right there.
So those colors line up pretty good. So far I haven't seen too many oddballs. I could use the bottom side of this, but I think that's going to get confusing. Let's see. And we're off to the races. Not sure why the builds usually begin with the minifigs. But sticking true to form with Lego. Typical Lego instruction. I want us to build five gray minifigs. Put those back there. Now what? <laughs> I will admit freely that I am not the best organizer in Nuller, but I do know where everything is now. Okie dokie, <clears throat> and we're off. So that's two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Hello, my son. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we need three of these guys. Seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one by fours, and one. Okie dokie. I think this is going to be the wit. Okie dokie. The directions have been downloaded on a PDF. Oh, so. So we have rotated. Didn't give myself a good enough workspace. Okay. So we have one of those. 
six two by fours. And one of these guys. Why red? All I can think of is just to make it easy for the directions to see what's going on. The interior of these really could be any color. But one in Greece. <laughs> the Greek gods. Get it? Two of these, one, two, three, four of these, and one, two, three, four of these. I do like getting all of my pieces out first, that way you know if you're missing something. Barely see the line. Two goes in there. That makes sense and it offsets the seam, keeps it strong. Two of those guys. Four of these guys. Man, if I had a bigger workspace, I would have just had this all laid out on a big, really big table. And then 28. My Six and 28. What I like about this design, you'll see when we get down to the nitty gritty, is it's very clean. Um, there's not that many. I don't know what the Lego things are called. I guess I'm not a very avid Lego user if I don't know what the little things are called <clears throat> but be that as it may there's not very many of them showing so he's, he's got a very clean aesthetic Again, still don't know why you went with the red. Could have been gray, could have been black, could have been whatever. Did I miscount? Must have.
coming along. Flip it over. This must just be for added stability. Now we're making another one of those. And we're putting some of the finer details on. I figured this was worthy of taking it off the hyperlapse. Yay. What else? So right under the table. I smell a rat. There you are. Like he's going over. This guy's got the sword. I wish I knew the stories behind these. I'm gonna have to look them up. I know that so he betrayed a bunch of people and he cheated death twice. I have to read up about this because I'm sure that these refer to certain parts of the history. All right. So that guy is complete. That looks outstanding. So exciting. And we're moving on. Only one. Okay. Moving right along. One of those, two of those, and one of those, one by four, two by four. Okay, so what do they want us to do? Line it up like that. And then, like that, it's unique. Okay, yeah, that's a unique piece. That's what I like about this. This building style is totally different from Lego. And I know that Adam has said, said this before, and I've only done a handful of kits that aren't Lego. 
but um, it's very much not the same as Lego. I mean, it's, it's hard to describe how so. But and it's not to say it's different, or not, not to say it's better by any means. It's not. It's not worse. Um, it's just different. You know, just lots, lots of uniqueness about the build style. And we want three of these. It's so nice out today. I've actually got the window open, which is why you hear nature. I'm not used to that. Oh, we've got a round piece right here. Not sure what this is just yet. I need two of those. I am so terrible. Even though I sorted my own Legos and I actually got, um, I made labels out of actual namesake label labels from Lego. Um, I am terrible at remembering their names. I'm terrible with names anyway. I never, ever, ever expect anybody to remember my name because I'm terrible at it. And I think that it's inappropriate of me to require you to do something that I myself will not do. <laughs> this is another point where we start getting into the uniqueness of the builder style. So, this goes there. This goes there. And that goes there. And that in of itself is a beautifully sturdy object. You have no idea what it is yet, do you? I do. The anticipation is killing you, I can tell. Okay, so then that goes. I gotta quit saying that goes there and that goes there because then I can't use this for hyperlapse. There we go. We want this. Rot her and this right there. So look at that. Oh. No, I was wrong. There we go, this is how it goes. I had it wrong, but now it's right. Oh no, I need a two. I need a longer one than that. What did I do with them? There they are. But, before we do that, we must do this. And then we also need, no, I need the backwards kind, this kind. There we go, upside down. And that goes, no. Like so. To cap it off. And then that goes. You're going, what is this thing he's building? Okay. Yell it out when you can tell. 
again, the creativity with this build is astounding. You know, I built spaceships and I built cars and those are the type of things that I built when I was growing up. Um, and I, I tried to build them in a style like Lego would build them. And I was not unique enough in my thinking to deviate from something they would do. I just, I just wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't thinking creativ creatively enough. All these little pieces. You see it yet? It never would have dawned on me to to work on this. I mean, these are this is these are up and down like that, but I would never have dawned on me to work on this scale or this axis, I should say. What? Okie dokie, moving right on. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, and four, that's it. And these. Oh, I know what we're doing now. We're starting another base. Boy, moving right along. Oh yeah, okay, so you've all seen this before. So we're gonna move back to a hyperlapse. Now we're getting to where we can decorate this thing. This is one of the panels. There we go. And so we're gonna put this guy on. Oh, cherry. I get it. There we go.
driver of the chariot. This guy goes right there. He's about to get hit by the chariot. What else? Oh, that's it for that side. There should be. That looks pretty good to know. Let's add that to this side. Got a little bit of a story happening here. Yay, that's exciting. And that's where we're going to leave it right now.